Hey guys, it's Chase here on Jimmy Master Animatronics, and today I've I've got a pretty interesting video for you guys, and I think it's a video that you all will enjoy a lot, um, hopefully. Um, as you can see, in front of you we have two Jimmy 2013 Jive and Jacks. Now, obviously one of them is a lot more put together than the other. Um, we have a totally complete one on the left, and then, well, the one on the right is missing its shell, and just kind of looks like it's it's a mess, but it needs to be there. It'll make more sense throughout the video why I have that there. It's a great demonstration of what I did, and I think that um, it will. It, it, it's a great way to show exactly how I did everything. Um, so with that being said, what we have in front of us is my recreation of the Jemmy 2013 prototype moves like Jagger, Jag and Jack. Um, I obviously want to state in the video that I do not own the prototype. Um, I would never want to claim to own the prototype, and it wasn't my intention for people or others to think that I have the prototype. This was just me having fun uh, creating something that I really enjoy. Um, it's something that I got to see in person. Um, I might put that in the video, like a little clip of me seeing the, the real prototype in person. Filming this? I am filming All right, let's go. It's quiet too. That's so cool. But it was something that I really enjoyed, and it was something that actually really opened my eyes to reprogramming items. Um, the Jive and Jack we have in front of you is not the first item that I ever reprogrammed, but it's, well, it is and it isn't. Um, back in 2022, I got a prototype Jive and Jack from CJ Webler. Um, he's on YouTube, he's got a good channel, you can go check him out. And he sold to me for, I think like 50 bucks because it was missing the EEPROM. But it had the, it had the board, um, the, the actual face board with the LEDs, and then it had the fully painted pumpkin. And I wanted to recreate the Moves Like Jagger Pumpkin, and so I bought an Arduino Uno. And with the Arduino Uno, I wanted to somehow make the lights in the face do the same exact program as the prototype Jive and Jack. Um, and I had no prior knowledge to pr reprogramming. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how I was going to do it. And you, you could, like you could literally find no info on YouTube on exactly how to reprogram. And there are some people that had actually figured out how to reprogram um, items before I did, but if you were to ask them on YouTube on how to do it, they would just tell you to figure it out on your own. And that is, that is literally what I was told. I was told that you have a brain, figure it out on your own, and as rude as that was, I did. Um, and so, the goal of this video is to not only show you my work, but it's also to give a brief explanation on how I did it in hopes that other people out there will start to learn how to reprogram because it's as complicated as it may sound, it's not, and it's so much fun to recreate something and maybe make something of your own that hasn't even been created yet and just to see yourself making something because it is super, super cool. Um, but there's also something different about this Jive and Jack that I have in front of you, and it's also signed by the creator of Jive and Jacks. As crazy as that sounds. The creator of the Light Sink or Lights Alive or whatever you want to call it, any of those characters that were made, it, this pumpkin is signed by that creator. One of the biggest things that I was able to do was to meet up with a bunch of the creators of all of these items, and we got to talking about the history of not, not only the, the Jive and Jack, but other Jemmy items that had a long history and just, just items that stood out and weren't your typical tabletop or life size or whatever it may be. So I will go ahead and turn around the pumpkin so you can see that it is, in fact, signed by the creator. There is his signature. And to me, that is the coolest thing to have um, the autographed pumpkin by the creator of the Jive and Jacks. Um, he is the original creator of the Moves Like Jagger pumpkin, and he remembers making it. 
and we actually got to see the factory video of it when we went to Jemmy, and there's actually two different pumpkins out there. There's the one that was that has the um, the in the style audio, as I like to call it, and then there's one that actually has the Maroon Five audio, and that's the one that we saw. We saw it in the in the Jemmy's factory. It was on a table, and it, it was actually playing the Maroon Five audio, and it was completely different from the prototype that we all have seen. Um, and I've I was surprised. I, I didn't realize that, that Jemmy had actually made one that played that audio. But the one I have in front of you, it plays the um, the audio that the prototype that we know plays, and, and that's the the karaoke audio. I think that's what it's called. Um, and so that kind of gets into what we have on the right here. And the pumpkin we have on the right is another pre uh, pre-programmed pumpkin that I did. And it does not sing Moves Like Jagger, the one on the right does not sing that. That one actually sings Party Rock. And the Party Rock Pumpkin is owned by uh, Didi Richard. You can see his video on it if you want. But that was another one that I did for fun. I wanted to see if I could recreate too. And I did, but I ended up parting out the Party Rock one because it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to. But I do plan to um, fix it up in the future and make a video on that. But for now, it kind of just sits on my table. And it will eventually be. I, I will eventually get to fixing it. But for now, um, we can use it as a demonstration of how exactly I programmed this pumpkin. And I haven't even shown this, this yet, um, so I, 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 I should have shown it probably in the beginning before explaining all of this, but I will, I will show this. Um, but I wanted to show how I was able to reprogram the pumpkin. Um, what we have here, I have no idea if this is picking it up. I apologize if it's, if it's not, but this is an Arduino Nano. And this is the brains of the entire thing. Now, this this chip itself is what's pr is what's controlling the lights on the face right here. It opens and closes the micro transistors, which then allows current to be flowed to each of these LEDs. Now, the Arduino does not house the audio to this. Um, that is held by its own circuit board, and it's called a uh, I think it's called a JQ six five hundred. But I actually have one right here. Yeah, I can. Let me make sure it's gonna get in the camera because I do want it to pick up. This is the chip that holds all of the audio, and this chip in particular has been giving me some problems recently. And yeah, it's not wanting to focus. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Either way, it doesn't matter. If you if you look up the um, the uh, JQ six five hundred, if you look on eBay or Amazon, you'll find one. But this houses all the audio. And I've been having problems with this chip recently. I think there's like a newer generation of these that is, that's come out that are completely different. But the one that I used in the pumpkin, I used that I used one a long time ago, and it and it, and it works very well in the pumpkin. Um, I did not have the issues I'm having with the one in my hand right now on the pumpkin. So thankfully that works all, all well and good. Um, but I kind of showed, I, I do want to show um, a little bit more of this pumpkin right here. As you can see, this is where the original chip was. And I took that chip off because as I've been told, I, I don't, I can't 100% confirm this, but it definitely makes sense. Um, you cannot reprogram an item if you have the original uh, Jemmy chip on, this, on, on any of these things. And so I took it off. And what I did was the wires that are coming from the Arduino they go to the resistors that go right in front of the transistors and so it it it, it goes exactly where the the original chip would have led to and i have this on with a twist tie i do want to show the back of this and obviously if if some of you didn't know the board that i've made right here is in the style of a jemmy eprom board it's a, a, sorry an eprom reader um and along the back here you can see a lot of the wiring that i did and i know it looks like a lot but it's once you get the premise of reprogramming, it's really not. Um, and you don't even need to use a board for the Arduino. You, there, there are some that actually come with legs that are um, soldered onto the chip. So you can just connect wires to the, to the legs onto the chip and that will um, allow you to hook up whatever you want to the Arduino. But I decided to do it the hard way. I wanted it to look like the, um, the ROM board that the original prototype would have had. So. That's why I did that. It was completely unnecessary, but I, I had fun doing it. Um, so I do want to show the pumpkin that's already programmed right here. Well, they're both already programmed, but this one actually works. 
I actually made its own custom tag right here, and it is in the style of how the original one was. I think it's a little bit different, but it says, Light Show, uh, Jive and Jack, Moves Like Jagger, Pack 4, Cube 0, um, Item 63811, and it's got a barcode right there, which literally goes to nothing. Um, it's, it's not the original barcode that was on the original. Um, it's just a barcode that I found online, because again, it's all for looks. It's, you know, not a real prototype, but it's just there for looks. Um, and then I sent the pumpkin to Jemmy, or the, the creator of it. I originally sent the pumpkin to the creator um, of the Moves Like Jacker pumpkin. I sent it to him because I felt like if I took it on an airplane, like, they would have thought it was a bomb or something, because it was... I mean, just look at the one on the, on the, on the right right there. I mean, that... It kind of looks suspicious, so I did not want to take it through customs and, and it getting risk thrown away. So I had the I had the pumpkin shipped to his address, and then he took it to Jemmy. And funny story, the entire thing broke in shipping. Um, I took it out and I plugged it in because this can take an adapter and it can take batteries as well. And I it, it got destroyed in shipping. I, I don't know why, but I, I took it out and I, and I wanted to show him when we actually went to Jemmy. I turn it on and nothing happens. I'm like, oh no. And when we get, when me and Robbie got back to the hotel, we actually went to a Walmart. And by, by the way, the, the creator of it had, had offered, he said, you know, I, I know you wanted it signed. I know it's not working, but I can still sign it for you. I was like, sure. Um, but we went to the back to the hotel that me and Robbie were staying at. And we went to Walmart to get a screwdriver set to open it up. And when I opened it up, every single, I, like, no joke, almost every single wire that I had put on this thing had broken off. I don't know how, I can't, I don't know why or how that happened, but it is now working again. And when I got back home and I had it shipped back to my house um, from Texas, I got it all working again, thankfully. And I will never ever ship this item again. It shouldn't have broken in the first place, but it did. And I kind of opened my eyes to maybe never let this thing go because if it does break, I don't think anybody would know how to fix this because I'm the one that made this and so I feel like only I know where everything's supposed to go. But with all that being said, I've kind of rambled way too much about this thing and kind of got off topic a little bit, but I, ho I hope that was some interesting background information about how I made this, um, how I got it signed, um, just the overall just history of the thing. Um, so I think with all of that out of the way, I can finally go ahead and activate it for you guys. Um, I am super proud of my creation. Um, I think that this is one of my best projects that I've ever done, and I could not be happier with this item. So I will go ahead and switch it on for you guys. Although that is only like like 30 seconds of activation, I still think that it's the coolest thing, and um, I am so I mean, I'm so proud of myself that I was able to make this from scratch, no help from anybody, um, and I'm really happy that others are able to learn from me and start to want to figure it out on their on their on their own on how to reprogram. Um, there are I think there's about two fantastic videos out there of people showing my method of how I program this item. Um, highly recommend checking them out. They were made by two of my friends. I think one of the videos is showing how to uh, drive a motor using an Arduino, and then the other is showing how to program the Arduino. Um, two fantastic videos. I will link them in the description if I can find them again. Um, but they were made by two people that I taught how to do this and now they are sharing it to the public, which is absolutely fantastic. I encourage every single one of you, if you ever want to reprogram program an item, just take the time, look into it like briefly. Again, there's two fantastic videos out there on how to do it now, and I think that if you put in the time and you absolutely have the drive to do this, then you will make something incredible. Now, I won't say that my thing is incredible, but I think that um, for some for somebody that didn't know anything about reprogramming at all and had no help, I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, I do want to play it again so I can 
you know, I'll, I'll play it two different times for you guys, um, and then that'll, that'll be the end of the video. And I feel like I'm leaving something out, or maybe I'm over-explaining a lot of things, but I'll, I'll, I'll go back and end the video later, I guess. By the way, the program for that pumpkin right there is almost the exact same as the prototype. I know that some of the timings might be a little bit off, but every single facial expression on there um, is the exact same as the prototype one. And, and again, the um, the program might be a little bit off, but it, um, the actual expressions themselves are the exact same. And I do have to turn it off because the Ar while the program has ended, the Arduino still remains on, which will drain the batteries. Um, so I have to keep turning it off and on every time I'm done, but again, this is not made to be, you know, in a real display or anything. This is just for me to have sitting on my desk, um, and again, I couldn't be happier. So, like I said, if you guys ever want to reprogram something, of course, you can comment down below. I will give out as much information as I know about these things. I don't know a ton, but I know enough to get something done with these Arduinos and I would be happy to help anybody that um, wants to know how to reprogram an item because like I said there are some people out there that will figure it out and then you know we'll just tell everybody else to figure it out on your own like uh, like a bunch of d-bags I can't really curse on the channel but it is what it is so if anybody needs help I will be happy to help and again there's two great videos out there that um, I did help on so I I can tell you that that, that they're, they're pretty good, so. But yeah, that's basically it. Really hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you have any questions about how I did this, or if you want to hear more about the trip to Jemmy, let me know. I have some other great signed memorabilia from Jemmy that I can show. Um, Robbie Beard showed a little bit of that, of what he had. Um, I have some of what he has, and then I have some different ones. So I have... Um, he has some stuff to show. I have some stuff to show. So again, just let me know in the comments if you want to see any of that. And I will see you guys next time.